Hi Libra, this is your reading with me for the 20th to the 26th of December. I hope you are well, I hope you are doing good, and I hope you are, yeah, I, I hope you are, and if you're not, I really hope I can help you. So we're going to have a look at the week and see what's coming through for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Also, if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They're done within 12 to 24 hours sorry the free reading giveaways are down below um if you would like to purchase a private paid reading with me those are done within 12 to 24 hours and all the links are down below and the last thing i wanted to mention is that on my website which is shopmoonlightguidance.com there are intention manifesting items which are handmade meditated with and saged which thousands of people have seen results with so if you did want to check those out feel free to do so um there's bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow your wallet or your purse they are very special very unique and yeah feel free to check those out if you wish to all right, so let's begin and have a look, Libra, see what's coming through for the 20th to the 26th. Okay, there's a social, there's a social energy here. Yeah, it's interesting. You're, you're thinking about someone, okay, and the Seven of Pentacles is them also thinking about you. So there's a lot of reflection here. And I also do believe that you're thinking, um, perhaps, you know, at this distance, you're, yes, you're thinking about someone, but you're also thinking about like visiting or you're thinking about the location, especially with the Seven of Pentacles. There's a sense here of that growth as well that I see. Um, so that's very interesting that I'm picking up on that. And let's keep shuffling to see what's coming through. Major Arcanas. Okay, so we got the Magician. Sun. Chariot. Knight of Cups. Hmm. There are things that you've really been thinking about, but not just thinking about, you've been questioning them. And I really feel like the response is trying to answer you with the magician, like through, you know, the Mercury energy is very powerful. And you know what, because I've mentioned the Mercury energy, it, it wouldn't be fair to do the reading without the Mercury edition two cards. You know, it's really to do with communication. And I feel like these cards will really help us to pinpoint all what, what this is as well. So I feel very much so that there is unresolved business with somebody at a distance from you okay can be physical distance in terms of space but the seven of pentacles here shows that something is unresolved and the main card the first card we got out on your spread is the three of cups now that shows that whatever this thing is whether it's a disagreement or like physical space or them trying to block you out or whatever it seems to be getting resolved where there's harmony on both parties from what i'm seeing even with the sun and the chariot there's this energy here of growth an energy here of maturity, especially emotionally. And the chariot is also a travel card as well, but this is about harmony and flow and balance, which is something that I also see coming to fruition. So that's obviously a really big sign as well. High Priestess, Nine of Pentacles, Temperance, Fool, Queen of Pentacles, Hanged Man, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so what I'm specifically seeing here is that what's happening for you, Libra, is that there is a really, really significant energy of some kind of situation here coming to like a, a reconciliation where you're able to work things out, you're able to start a fresh, clean new chapter, you're able to understand where the both of you stand, and you're able to basically be able to move forward in your life now. Because for a lot of you, it's, it's held you back emotionally and mentally, especially in the mental space. And the hanged man here shows them having an epiphany and realizing and recognizing your worth. And this really does come to, come to show that there is just this sense of 
um, real respect now that they have towards you. And so I really do feel that that's what's happening. That's literally what's happening. So you're questioning this entire situation and the universe is responding by showing you not only through physical action what's going to happen this week, which for many of you, you may get a reach out, you may get some communication. For some of you, you're going to feel it spiritually and you're going to feel that they are changing, that they are feeling it. You will feel that they are feeling that they have to re resolve things. So you might see dreams, you might have synchron like signs and things like that, that basically show you that this person cares tremendously. To resolve things, yes, and to be much more balanced and harmonious, especially because the Nine of Cups is a desire of yours that is manifesting this week. So this week is about something unresolved, some unfinished business that starts to resolve itself. And that is what you need to know. And for many of you, you'll know exactly what this particular thing is because it's been following you even prior to this week. Okay, so, yep, unfinished business. There you go. Oh, there's another card actually that flipped over. Is there any more? No. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so to the nine, we add the ace, then we get the ten, which is the pinnacle and the completion. We've got the emperor here, Aries energy, so there is someone absolutely coming towards you, and you know who, you'll know who this person is because you wanted them to come towards you um, prior as well, and they just kind of haven't, so it's good to see that, you know, they really do come to you now, and look at that, Wheel of Fortune is uh, a change, a real change in fate. The Wheel of Fortune is also, some of you have been dealing with money issues and things like that, and so these are things you want resolved. For others of you, it's to do with love or family or friend, friendship. There's a sense here of you getting what you deserve, and I think that that's very, very important here to mention. So someone could have taken things away from you, treated you really horribly, and there's a real recognition of that in their soul this week. Okay, let's drop those. We've got, I don't know who I am anymore. This is, this is not you, this is the other person. So they're going to realize that they've gone down the wrong path and they took a lot out on you, but it was not, not actually who they were. So they're going to realize and have these epiphanies, realizations and awakenings to very much so realize that we have here soon. So it will happen soon, of course, as we know. Please forgive me. That That's a big one, right? Because this here goes to show that there's an apology, things are getting worked out, they're taking responsibility and accountability, and then you know exactly where you stand, which A, helps you tremendously to know where you stand, but B, also it puts into perspective that you really haven't done anything wrong. This is really important because some of you feel like you've done absolutely everything wrong and that you just don't know, like, you know, it's, it's just, oh, it's just overwhelming sometimes, isn't it, to kind of feel that energy, but I don't think that you've done something wrong here, I just feel like, in all honesty, you've tried to do the best that you could, and it's interesting how the more you're putting yourself first and taking care of you, and you are number one for yourself right now, what's happening is that it's really triggering them to come forward and actually explain themselves to you, which is something that they may not have done before, right, before they may have run away, and just taken no accountability, or kind of shut out your ideas, or things like that, and now they're actually coming forward and taking responsibility and holding themselves accountable, which is something that just didn't happen before. Obviously, that's a pretty significant thing, and it just goes to show you the mindset that they are in, in the grand scheme of things, which is obviously huge, absolutely huge, and yeah, that is, that is really what we do, that is what we have right there. Pretty fascinating, to say the least, for sure. So that is that is literally what we do have there. So I mean, I really hope that this helps and just gives you like a ton of clarity, information, knowledge, you know, really hope, hope that it helps you in your path, Libra. Very, very strong energies. But what I will say is that you have got this, all right? So Libra, this is your reading with me for the 20th to the 26th of December. Um, let this person come to you. I think that's actually very important. The universe is responding. Some of you may think to yourself, oh, the universe is doing nothing. The signs and synchronicities you also get are a huge part of the universe responding towards you and showing you that they are listening. This person does take a lot of time, as we see with the Seven of Pentacles, to properly reach out and communicate. This week, you will start to feel like they are actually digesting things. And that's what I see is that soon, okay? So it's in this week that a lot of them, well, a lot, for a lot of you, right? 
the other person, for example, is going to have those realizations and those awakenings um, and feel much more uplifted. But it's a bit of a process still in many ways as well. So that's another thing to also keep in mind. It's still a process and it can still take some time and things like that. So, yep, that's what we do have. Time in terms of everyone's on a different path, right? No two people are on the exact same path. So what's important to know is some of you will feel the energy spiritually and others of you will actually have this person come to you physically this week. The main thing here is we have a soon. All right, so this is your reading. Of course, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. Don't forget to check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, intention items, which are on my website. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and yeah, I hope you all take care and stay safe. And I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on that, feel free to do so. Um, I post short readings on there for you every single day. All right, so I'll see you all very soon. <laughs> Bye.